Ultrazilla, and today I have a review of the SH Figure Arts Netflix Ultraman version 7 suit. Or my zillions, Ultra 7 from the uh, anime Ultraman, based on the manga Ultraman. And uh, I, I, I've been really wanting to do this one. I keep pushing it back. It's been sitting around my desk for a little bit. And uh, yeah, it's, it's about time is all I can say. Let's get into it, shall we? Anime Ultra 7 comes with a bunch of hands. You got like open hands. You got fist hands. You got holding hands. You got kind of like this, I don't know, like thumbs up hand with a little hole in there, almost like a trigger hand. Eh, you could just put something in between there. Right? Yeah, I know what this is for. This is for the eye slugger. <laughs> um, but yeah, there you go. Nice hands. We get an eye slugger, as we just said. It's sculpted fine. It's all right. We're just gonna, we're gonna grab that hand. Grab the hand. And then we can put it there, probably like more so like this for some tossing action. Pretty cool. Just like the original Ultra Act XSH figure arts, which I didn't even talk about at the top. This guy kind of, you know, he, the, these guys are like redos of those, um, which are, it's fine. These are just done in silver. This is the holster. Holster? Uh, it's not a holster. It's a sheath. <laughs> um, nicely sculpted, just done in silver. This is just gray here. It's on a couple of ball joints. Well, it's on a ball joint here. And then a little thing that goes in. Am I on camera at all? Um, and then the sword. It's nice. It's fine. It's not bad. That goes in nicely. And he holds it fine, as you saw. So pretty cool. So this clicks into there. And finally, we get this cool effect part. Very nicely done. It comes on a little stand here. Nice, like, energy shooting out. And now, whoosh, this is for him. Put it down. There goes that thing. Like if he's slashing down. I could get get him into a pose here where it would work if he'd only do it for me there we go that's pretty slick let's see if we could zoom in here for you yeah i like it i, I think it's a cool effect part taking a look at uh ultra 7 here and it's got some odd proportions as does ultraman i really like ultraman though as a whole this guy he's got um like really long legs, <laughs> maybe a little bit too long, but it's interesting. It's an interesting design overall. So yeah, otherwise I'd say the proportions are okay. His head might be a tad too skinny too, or something, I don't know, maybe the torso is a little too skinny. It's just those legs and those hips are giant. Um, so it is odd proportioning. But it looks pretty good otherwise. I, I do like it. The clear plastic on the visor here is very, very nice. Nice done in yellow. Then up here, you got the metallic blue and the eye slugger here on top. It looks really good. I like the gray in here. Overall, the head sculpt, I think, is phenomenal. I really do dig it. It is very, very, very nice. Beautiful stuff here. Uh, the neck looks good. The chest piece looks really nice. I do dig that. I do like um, the two-tone red. You know, it's meant to be like that, darker and lighter. Really nice contrast here. It, it really works well. It really does. I really like that a lot, honestly. I love how this darker one looks on here. I like that this is very matte. Very nice. And then the silver, like, armor-looking pieces look great. Again, like, the hands are very nicely sculpted. I like them all. I like these gauntlets here, really nice looking. Very nice here. Along the sides, it looks cool. I even like the interior of the legs there. That looks very cool. The back, spine looks great. Head looks awesome. This piece here on this helmet looks fantastic. Again, I like 
the backs of the legs here, kind of like the inside. I just like that inner armor. I think it looks really cool. And then the feet, you know, the joint looks a little bad. Like, there's no way there's a real foot in there. Um, but it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. But overall, I think the look of this guy is really nice for sure. Articulation on Ultra 7 head is on a ball joint. And you got a neck joint as well, but not a ton of range of motion out of it. But the head, oh, there you go, there's the ball joint. Head works decently enough. The upper midsection joint works really good. And then the inner joint gives a little more range of motion, but not a ton. Uh, depends on how, oh, there's the big ball joint in the middle there. This like really low cut waist joint is awesome. Love it. Lots of free movement there. You got a butterfly joint here, which works fantastic for a swordsman. You really like that. Really, really well done. There's a hinge in here and a ball joint. So shoulder works pretty awesome. I gotta say no bicep swivel. They do have a double jointed elbow, but it is a little hindered right there. You can see, it won't go past that. Then the hinge, a little bit of swivel action at the wrists. Legs does a full split. Kicks pretty good, goes back pretty good. There is a drop down joint. See, drop down, drop down, um, which is cool. You know, hold over from the ultra act line. Then you can swivel it at the inner thigh here. Double jointed knee, works fine. And then this crazy foot, these things move out of the way, or at least the front one moves out of the way, so you can move forward. Um, rocking action, not much, unfortunately. You do have a toe hinge, so there's that. But yeah, not, a, not that much rocker on this guy, or any. That, that's a little bit of a disappointment, uh, I gotta say. But otherwise, I think the articulation is very, very good. For your size comparisons, here he is with Prototype Apollo, Broly Full Power, NECA Rodan, The Thing, NECA Burning Godzilla, Revoltek Gurren Lagann, Manga Ultraman, and we'll just have to make do with this one because I have no idea where <laughs> the regular Netflix one is. And finally, the Manga Ultra 7. So we'll take a quick look at this. The one thing you see right away is the this doesn't have the dual tone here. The chest is different. The heads. are actually different. This head, the new head is bigger. So that's interesting. Um, yeah, I mean, a lot of these things that you saw it in my uh, Netflix Ultraman review are different, um, but there's some things that are the same, like these shoulders, the arms are the same, and then the legs are the same, just a different coat of paint. Um, so this one, I think, has less, these legs are different than these, uh, from the down here. This part here is different than this. A little bit different, at least. Um, it's interesting, because the, the Netflix Ultraman, compared to the Manga Ultraman, had a lot of differences, and I see less here. I, I see mostly the chest is different, the side here is different, so this whole thing is different here. Oh yeah, the, obviously this articulation is totally different. So the entire chest is different. I, see, I feel like the arms are the same and the legs are pretty much the same with a couple of like holdovers and then the head is completely different. I think that neck might be the same. It looks the same to me. Um, but yeah, there you go. A lot of uh, differences, but a lot of similarities as well. And my final thoughts, I like this figure. I think it's cool. It's very cool. It's different enough from the original release to warrant it getting it, especially since I actually like the Netflix stuff more than the manga. So yeah, uh, the colors are brighter and it really does look very good. So there you go, guys. That's my review. Gonna keep this uh, ending simple. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts below. And if you could please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Buy me a coffee on coffee if you dig what I do. Become a zillion today. Till next time, peace out, peeps.